We, we're looking for yes. common themes that yes. people are struggling with or, 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 or need focus on as they're trying to integrate their faith. So point number two, what you Nobody hear? wants to admit it. Nobody wants to acknowledge it. Nobody wants to talk about it. It's marriage. Hmm. Marriage is really, really, really hard. Hmm. And no one gets more t- taken advantage of more in our lives than our spouses. Because when we are out and about, even with family, even with our kids, we're on stage. When we're in right. business, we're on stage. Scotty, it is, it's broad-based. And, and if, 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 it would be, if it would be overcome anywhere, it would be in the C12 family because mm-hmm. of the hyper-focus on right. it. But there is no issue more challenging that I journey with across the C12 family than marriage. And, and I believe this, God has, God revealed this to me um, when we were radically rescued. As I, as I began to grow into his likeness, something really profound happened that makes me teary out every time I share it. As I began to grow into his likeness, I began to see Jeannie through his eyes. And when I began to see Jimmy through God's eyes, um, I began to develop. I began to develop the capacity to love her as He loved her, and it's profound. And I was awakened to something that um, I had never imagined. Um, my capacity to love Jeannie has almost nothing to do with her. It has to do with my capacity to love. Hmm. And my capacity to love is a spiritual matter. Um, I'm working with a man right now who's outside of C12 um, who he and his wife have had some real difficult times of late. And I shared this with him three months ago or so. And... um, he didn't say, I don't believe you. But last month he said, I didn't believe you. And he said, it's happening to me. Hmm. He said, I am beginning to see things in my wife. They've, they've been married maybe 25 or 30 years. Mm-hmm. And he says, I'm beginning to see things in her that draw me to her. That and he said, Dewey, what you said to me, I didn't believe you when you said it, but it's happening to me. As I am committing my heart and time to walk with the living God, I'm beginning to see her differently. I'm beginning to see things in her that I have never seen. And I said to him, and I'm really cautious not to name names, Mm -hmm. I said to him, it will not be long before she knows it. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he said, she already knows it. Mm -hmm. She's already commented on the warmth that she feels. Mm -hmm. And Scotty, so so the second point is marriage, but the awakening, the, the awakening piece for me is we always go into, we always go into court and the number one reason for divorce, irreconcilable differences. Mm-hmm. I'm glad this is near the end of the the podcast because people won't people won't hear me anymore after I say this. <laughs> no such thing as irre, irre, as irreconcilable differences mm-hmm. in Nehemiah chapter one in the ninth verse. I think God says, "From the farthest horizon, from the farthest horizon." From there, I will rescue you. Hmm. From the farthest horizon, from there, I will rescue you. And Scott, I'm going to be really clear. I understand there are things in marriage that are dark. I, I, I'm not minimizing mm-hmm. some deep pain. So, so you're, to your listening audience, I, I'm not negating really dark scenarios. But what we do is we point our fingers at our spouse Mm. and we say if only they did this 
but they're like this, but you don't know about him or you don't know about her. That's what we do. Absolutely. And we are misguided because our capacity to love, really lay our lives down and love well, is dependent upon our relationship with Almighty God. Mm. Because when we see our spouses through God's eyes, the world changes. Mm.